Last time on Survivor South Africa, the new members of Bajar were in awe of Hein. I'm a student and a great master. I literally walk around the whole day with my jaw hanging. The guy is actually just humbling to be around him. From that point of view, I like him off the island. Starvation on Iban began to affect the morale in the tribe. I don't know how I'm going to cope. Like, I just need some food. But a reward of pillows and mosquito nets soon lifted the mood. On Bajal, Lisa felt like she belonged. I actually feel like working when I'm on this tribe. No, we just... Dyke cooked his Iban tribe mates a valuable meal and they went into the challenge with confidence. It did the trick and Iban beat Bajal in a tight contest. With old tribe royalty still running deep in Bajal, the voting became a numbers game. I think the numbers are against the old Jabal tribe. But trustworthy friends were hard to find. I don't think you can trust anyone, because that's the nature of the game. I just don't trust what's happening on the other side. So. However, in tribal council, Bajal agreed that Nishal should be the next to go. This one is for Nicola. <laughs> tribe has spoken. Who will go tonight? the 3G coverage, Vodacom gives you the best broadband for your rand. Lisa is definitely one of the luckiest survivor members I know at the current moment. I think I'm just actually going to cut this stuff away. I'm putting everything in my way. My name was brought up yet again. So every time I council, I'm always on edge, waiting to see if my name's the next one out that voting box. So obviously I'm very excited so I can spend a few more days here and hopefully work on like alliances and agreements to try and further myself in the game. Since day one, she was on my list to vote off, and each and every time something happens to her advantage. But I still feel Lisa needs to go, in my opinion. Isha, he just kind of talks for the sake of talking a lot of the time. And uh, it just starts grating on you, just stupid, stupid things. We don't need no water, let the... Burn. Oh, no, 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 no. Burn. please, no, please, no singing. Why not? Please. No, no you're not up for it. Come on, uh, eh? it's morning. No, 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 you nearly drove me mad yesterday, please. Last night. <laughs> no, yesterday, last night, the whole day. Yeah, I know, please, that's how no. I keep from going inside. Okay, can you maybe do it alone? <laughs> If I was at home and this was normal life, I wouldn't take that nonsense from Angie or Amanda. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't fly at them, but I mean, I'd, I'd have something to say. You know, but I know if I'm going to say something, you know, they're going to give me back, you know. So, and I don't want to start an argument. So it's purely tactical. I'm not sure what to do with these little poo ones. 
taken at an angle. That's not. Uh, yes, but once I peel it, there's going to be hardly anything left. Yeah, well then don't peel it. Just, just slice it. We can eat. remember how we ate the. Um, you know, we can just eat around the peel. Don't peel it. Just. Can I show you how? I understand. How to cut something without peeling it. Okay, cool. Good. The girls are very opinionated, um, not just in the kitchen, but everywhere. And uh, I tend to not run away, but I tend to uh, kind of not oppose them too much because I know they're bosom buddies, Ange and um, Amanda. Before the challenge, we're going to have some more. Okay. Excuse me? Guys, we have communique. Oh, yeah. The hollow you heal, a totem may steal, with ego at bay, tether the fray. I don't know, player. Mm. That's uh, exactly. You can wait for the rest of my life. I'd rather wait for Mark's explanation. <laughs> yeah, I'm that with you. <laughs> this one's a bit tricky. <laughs> Ever since old Bajar days, Amanda's just been working on my nerve. She she just uh, she's just been annoying the shit out of me. What's the ego at bay? That's the thing. An ego, like if you put ego. something at bay, it means you put it aside. Yeah. So like you put your egos aside. She spends like a few years in the states, and she comes back with this fake American accent, this know-it-all kind of person. I don't think it means your ego's at stake. It Stop does sound like it's something now. you're gonna have to get over, like it's in, like something embarrassing. She does absolutely nothing around camp. All she wants to do is eat and sleep. And I think it's time the guys notice that and vote her stupid big ass off the show. Hi, Ivan. Welcome to Jao. Iban, this is your first look at the new Bajal. Michelle voted off at last night's tribal council. Today's challenge is a tug of war. You're going to need five people from each tribe. Bajal, you're going to have to sit one person out. You'll be attached to the rope by means of harnesses, both tribes facing in opposite directions. On my signal, you'll need to pull against each other in order to reach the three different sections of your totem. The first tribe to put the three pieces in the correct order, one on top of the other, and complete their totem, will win the reward. The Iban and Bajar tribes, after whom you are named, had very close ties with their livestock, and it is in this spirit that I'm going to introduce you to the reward for this challenge. Rezki. You're not eating that guy. I'm going to eat it. No, we're going to milk it. Yeah. Rezki over here is your reward. Now you can choose to either have her as a companion, use her for milk, or a hearty meal. The decision is going to be yours. This is what you're playing for. Bajar, I need you to sit someone out. Who's it going to be? Angela, sitting out for Bajar. Let's get to it. I will okay, never eat it. I'll never eat it. Well, we'll talk about it. We're going to go through strategies. Strong the the strongest at the back. Yeah. Strongest. There. Yeah. Alright guys, let's get you into your harnesses. Ivan electing to put their weight closest to the totem. Bajal have the heavy weights in the center. Alright, Ivan and Bajal. This is for the companionship or the taste of Rezki. Both tribes ready? Survivors, on my signal. Go! Bajar putting in a big tug to start off with. Angie and Amanda are struggling to compete. Bajar have reached their totem. Ivan are being pulverized. Ivan are trying to pull the rope from behind. Make sure you do not touch the other team. Ishad, you cannot interfere with Hyde. Ishad, no! The rope, the rope, not him. Can't touch. You can't touch the other team. Okay, you okay, Sol? 
All right, due to interference on Hind by Irshad, which is against the spirit of the game, Bajal wins reward. Bajal, by winning reward, you get to take Rezgi back to your island where you have to decide whether you're going to have her as a companion or as a meal. You'll receive a further communique with instructions. Collect your things, head back to your island. With a choice of mobile internet products, Podacom gives you the best broadband for your rent. You know, I hate to see animals uh, mistreated or hurt in any way, but once again, it's a survivor, man, and I'm pretty hungry and rescue's looking pretty damn good. Milk or meat? <laughs> milk and meat, how's that? Milk and meat. I see meat in that animal, I see milk, but the meat is more important. Find whatever works for most people, you know? I think just sit down and vote on it as a child. Yeah, I think just keeping in mind that, you know what, milk is great, but if we filter it, you know what, we don't have to look after it as such as, you know, somebody's going to check after it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And if we put it as biltong, what we don't eat, we've got food for. You know, there is a bit of controversy in myself regarding, you know, killing it, not killing it. But at the end of the day, it's meat, it's food. I don't want to see it die, but um, it's best that it happens now. Physical challenge like that, we have no control over. No. no, we didn't have much chance against the water buffalo, eh? Okay? No. <laughs> Straightforward again, brute force, their side, and we, we're more nimble, more athletic. And uh, what, what do you expect? Us to win? Don't be ridiculous, man. Like, I really wouldn't have wanted to kill the goats. And I wouldn't have eaten, I wouldn't have. No. And to look after would have been a mission. We can hardly look after ourselves. Are you going to get that? I'll get it, I'll get it. I would definitely describe Ishara as a loose cannon. He's kind of all over the place and he needs to just be a little bit more focused at challenges. How do I feel about being disqualified? I feel bad, personally. But as a tribe, I think, you know, we didn't lose anything. We lost the goat, but I mean, yeah. I mean, really, goat meat as as the uh, uh, sour. Ooh, uh, goat uh, meat. People are going to get a shock. You know, yeah? the, the 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 fact that you don't have no ginger, no garlic, no Indian spices. It's going to be gonna, tough. It's going to oh, it's going to stink, dude. And yeah. if they let go of that thing for a second, and there's going to be a white goat, goat, goat trotting along the beach here. Yeah. With a very very water buffalo chasing it. <laughs> <laughs> let Pajar have the goat. We don't need it at all, then. Eh? Time ago, and it's about your age. <laughs> I think she's got some experience. There are existing dynamics in this tribe which we don't control and don't have full access to, and that is Hein is the king, and um, the right hand person is Angela. Um, she's the spokesperson, she's the right hand lady, whatever you want to call it. I never saw this coming. Hey? Fun? It is a concern of mine, you know? So yeah, it drives me insane. Well, we got about half a litre of milk. 
And uh, we're very, very glad of that because we're actually going to cook a seriously nice mussel and um, oyster soup tonight. Nice creamy milk sauce on top. <laughs> They'll never buy time because time will be like there till right to the end. That's what I figure. So if, if they do go against our old former tribe, it will probably be me next. What concerns me is that Angela is clearly the, I don't want to say puppet master, but she's clearly the one who's guiding her. And she's flying like solo under the radar that she might as well be walking. No, because Hein is a golden god and no one's prepared to touch him because, yeah. you know, if Hein doesn't provide, then, you know, we have seven years of famine here, yeah. you know. Is Hein untouchable? Absolutely not. Um, no one's untouchable in this game. You know, he's a provider of food and it's fantastic and he's a good guy and everything, but, uh, you know, if he thinks he's untouchable, he's got to think again. Food for a king. On the file. One, two, three. You know what, there's only... I can't see another one of these potato things, eh? I have my own. That means we've got to slow down in a big way. Running very low, realizing that our dumbies or bush potatoes or whatever they are, uh, we only have one more meal, and then we can't find. We haven't found any other trees. Uh, it's just about the care of the goat, how you must give it food twice a day, fresh water must be in constant supply, rescue must remain tethered but should be able to roam free within the pen. Who's going to look after this animal? And then if you read the communique, the structure that has to be put up is 4x4 four four and you have to, you know, uh, deal with the salt water. No. We don't need a pet when you're trying to survive in a game of this nature. Should you decide to use her for eating purposes, we must lead her into the forest and tie her to a tree. You know what, we could do that and we could all end up with a handful of meat instead of like, we're not over there. So if, we, if you want to eat her, we've got to tie her to a tree in the bush and the next morning we'll have meat off of her. Okay. And if we keep her, we've got to make a pen for her, we've got to dab her down to make sure she's got no salt residue from the sea, she's got to have a pen that's half shaded the whole day. I reckon that's too much work from my side. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're already busy the whole day and... Fine. Also, it's, a, it's not it's easy work, It's going to become a hassle. Absolutely. Five yeah. to three. See, if I have to kill the animal, I'll do it. Uh, but it seems like that won't be necessary. So I will not lose sleep over um, slaughtering that animal and then eating the meat. None whatsoever. Who votes for taking her into the forest? No, no, no. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah. We've got to take Risky out into the forest, into the outback somewhere, and tie her to a tree. And in return for that, in the morning, we will have Risky in more manageable pieces. Yeah. Risky the goat. It's been real. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. things we've got to do now is also head out to the forest to see what became of Risky, uh, see what she transmogrified into. All I could think about was Risky, thinking, you know, what's going to happen, are we going to get meat today, if it's going to be like a handful portion or if we were going to be fortunate enough to get the whole thing. Let's have a look. I'll get the communicator, how's that? Okay. That's my job.
No, it wouldn't be. Pardon? It's a little disturbing when you come across something that was in the camp the day before that was all kind of happy and, and, and together in one piece and the next morning you're finding it, you know, literally, you know, butchered. We've got two choices. Either we have to hang her up high in the tree and hope for the best until we get back or we have to put it in, you know, two of these bags that we found on the beach and uh, take her with us. The guys came into camp with Reski saying that it was, the, according to the communica, the girls had to do all the skinning and the chopping and the cutting up. The communica is that the guys must carry it, yeah? Uh, we have to carry it, yeah? And then you have to skin it. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, I'll read the communica. Here lies Reski. This is your vote. Meat over milking, death over dirt. The tribes to relish, skin cut and toil. Haste is required. The only hitch, the girls must do the toil. Do you don't have to teach us. Use it or lose Show it. us and we'll do it. Yeah. I'm not too thrilled up with the guts and the gore, but it was just the case of, you know, I didn't quite want to have to do it. I have no idea how to do this. And you've I mean, cut the insides out. All the, all the energy still No, that's fine. As long as you can explain to us, sit next to us and explain to us how to do it as we go, because I, th I don't think any of us have done this. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. We're just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> oh, back off, guys. You, know, you guys are so funny. That, that was hilarious. I was relieved when I heard it was a joke, though. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> we don't have time to, to actually cut it up now. So if we can get one or two of those bags, because it's been in the freezer. I'm just going to wrap it in the, in the bags, hang it in the tree to make it safe. Okay. Let's just try it. Just when you think you'll have breakfast. <laughs> it's a bit disappointing, huh? Yeah. It's but it's fine. Just, just, just imagine the lunch we're going to have. Five, five <laughs> yeah, sure. So we could have eaten it before the challenge. Are you putting on our wall paint? Absolutely. I have some concern about the closeness of Lisa and Angela. <laughs> Hein is the king, she's the right hand lady, and Lisa is now in that kingdom. Okay. So, yeah, we could be targets as the people that piss her off, and that would cause trouble in this fight. Ah, <laughs> where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Welcome, Ibon. Looks like the job have come prepared. War paint. Is this indicative of your attitude today, Lisa? Yes, definitely. We had to win. And how's Reski doing? Reski, we milked her yesterday, and um, let's just say we're going to have a feast when we get back to camp after this. Are you going to feast on milk? On Reski. Okay. Today's obstacle is the rope relay. First person will start at the back there with the rigging. You need to free up the rope with the grappling hook. Once you've done that, you hand it over to the second person. They need to use that rope and the grappling hook to climb up and release the key from the second obstacle. Once they've done that, they come down, hand over the rope and the key to the next person who will climb this ladder up onto this platform, drop the grappling hook through the middle, attach it to this box and pull the box up. Use the key to unlock it. Inside that box are several pieces of a pole that you will need to put together. Use it to release the ladder, which will drop down. The person standing on the second platform will come across, take the rope, head back down, and hand it over to the last person. The last person needs to throw the grappling hook up on top of that wall, ascend the wall, and hoist their flag. The first tribe to hoist their flag will win immunity and will be set from tribal council. Speaking of which, Angie, I'll take that back. Guys, never before has group strength and strategy counted more. Immunity. Back up for grabs. You guys ready? All right, guys, I'm going to give you a few moments to strategize as to who you're going to place where. You bring the rope, you climb up, you bring me the key. 
Yeah. I'll go up, pull up the box, put the pole, get the thing down. As soon as I've got the thing down, you walk over, you grab it for me, you go down, give it to Mona, Mona, so where's the flag? Just go. Don't forget the key. Yeah, hurry, come on. Uh -huh. I'm not finished yeah. running. Come on, please, don't well, Guys, it seems we have a large storm rolling in, just to add a little extra drama to the occasion. Both tribes, are you ready? Survivors, on my signal. Go! Amanda. Amanda and Lorette working fast on the ropes, trying to get the one done. Bajal with a slight lead at this stage already. Lorette working through the ropes. Amanda needing to catch up some time. Every second is going to count in this relay. Amanda right behind. Amanda has her rope stuck. Come on, Amanda. Working hard Come on, Amanda. to get it undone. Lorette has handed on, over to Grant. No, 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 you've got to get that out, yeah. Amanda still needs to release it. Grant throwing the rope over. Successful first time. Come on. Come on, Amanda. That's Grant starting to climb. That's it. That's it. Struggling on the rope. Grant sliding. Can he get the key? Grant releases the key. Second obstacle is almost complete. Amanda still working on the rope. Immunity is up for grabs. Grant hands over to Hein. Hein climbs up the first platform. Lowering the grappling hook to catch the chest. Earshard gets his rope over first time. Needs to hook it in. Needing to make up some ground. Hein trying to get the grappling hook through the chest. Keep the one side of the rope. You are an animal! Here's Up at the top. Grabs the key. Time still struggling to grapple with the chest. No, no, the rope's as well! The rope's as well! Here's running back to get the rope. The handover needs to be complete. Time almost has the chest hooked. Dyke on top of the first platform with his rope. Can he catch up? The jar have pulled even. Hine manages to grapple with the hook. The pressure is on for Bajal. Dyke making short work of hooking a test. Both tribes starting to unlock. Hine working the lock. Getting it open. Dyke right behind him, starting to assemble their poles. It is neck and neck. Dyke made up some huge ground there for Ivan. Hein starting to release the ladder. Dyke first hit releases the ladder. Both tribes heading across. It is neck and neck at this stage. Angela grabbing rope, heading back. Angie slightly behind her. Go, go. Quickly done. Angie electing both to drop their ropes down. Ivan with a very, very narrow margin handing over to their last member. Both men falling short of the grappling hook reaching its target. You guys need to strategize here. Work out a system. Both Rajesh and Mandla struggling at this stage. Mandla gets his over but pulls the grappling hook back down. Mandla throwing high again. Will it hook? Mandla heading up for Bajal. Rajesh not getting it. Mandla reaches the top first. Starts to hoist his flag. Rajesh not getting it right. Bajal wins the new it seems like the rain has brought good fortune to Bajal. Congratulations. Well done. Taking it at the last hurdle. Free from Tribal Council tonight. Enjoy it while you can. Ivan, unfortunately, losing it at the last hurdle. The next time I'll be seeing you, will be at Tribal Council. Both tribes. Head back to Ireland. Iban needs some tension release. Radox for your herbal well-being.
speed, coverage, and choice, Vodacom gives you the best broadband for your rent. Going into a challenge, yes, Blue, I have compatriots, call them whatever you want, but um, when I'm going to do battle, there's no friendship. This game is quite harsh in that there's only one winner who takes all the glory and there's no second prize. This is the moment I've been waiting for in this game. A time when I can eat something a little bit more substantial that doesn't get finished like in one minute. It just struck me how, you know, this is the kind of thing that Mandela had been doing since she was four years old. You know, and, and just the, the depth of kind of black African culture as opposed to shallowness in, in my own culture and that you know this is the first time that I you know as an African am, am you know kind of getting my hands dirty and doing something like this. We've got a very nice goat's head uh, and the best way to cook it is in the oven so we're going to make a oven in the sand with some rocks we're going to cover it put some coals inside and then we just leave it to cook. You can start collecting smaller rocks for us. Okay. Not this size. But okay. enough to, to base to line the entire hole. Mm -hmm. Now we've been on the island for quite a while now and this is definitely my best day so far. Stack it high, that's it. And one down there. Okay, I'm going to take these. But I think we still need some more rocks. Yeah. We'll have to fill it up here yeah, because the bamboo is going to basically lie here. Yeah, so we have to fill up the holes with rocks. Okay. Okay, I'm digging here. Okay. There's our Lisa lady, completely tuned out, man. Detached from the whole experience. How does that work when you, you know, you're busy cutting yourself. Nobody bothers to ask you if you want water, you know, do you want to take a break? And so she was just standing there for like one and a half hours doing nothing. smart thing for them to do is to vote me off because if they don't vote me off they're going to get when we merge eventually and they're going to be screwed in terms of numbers so they're actually stupid if they don't vote me off I'm actually really excited about travel tonight yeah it's just it's gonna be a good night so it was a bit of a hectic day uh, as for Amanda the cow is still getting work in my nerves and uh, I, I'm, I've had enough of her. Okay, I'll check that way. Okay. No one likes Amanda in Bajar. No, no, no one liked her. She just annoyed everyone the way she spoke and she was always really loud and people just look at each other and roll their eyes. You just talk to Dyke. I mean, when it comes to, it comes to yourself, speak to Dyke and it's like, hey, what's up? And he will vote off Amanda. He does not like Amanda. From day one, they were giving him a hard time. Well, I have spoken to Ishad, and Ishad's got my back. Dak has got my back as well, and they're going to vote her ass off. So if she thinks she can get rid of us, she's, she's got another thing coming. And she, she comes across like, like she has to be the center of attention. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know, don't she understand her, her size is enough to be, to make her the center, the center of attention? <laughs> <laughs> big ass bitch. No, I me, mean, I will make you cry. I don't care who you are. I don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? I will make you cry, girl. I vote for you. You vote for me. I'm and so glad you gave me permission. I had no roofs with anyone, so to be stupid. That you know of. To many, it might not make sense for 
me to want to get rid of Rajesh so badly because he's an ex Bajau member and he might help the numbers, etc., etc., etc. But the reason why it makes perfect sense to me is because he's not trustworthy. There's nothing true about you, Rajesh. Uh, you think so? You know what? I, I know so. I, yeah, but you know, I'm not two faced. I'm not two faced like you. <gasps> You're I'm not two faced. I'm not two faced like you. I'm sorry. Rajesh, you, look, you, you look like a complete idiot will, right now. No, no, if I'm I not two faced like you. I would rather keep quiet. This is a game. I will play the right? game. No, love. Uh, I will play the game. You know what I'm saying? Well, don't don't play the game and then turn around and say you're not two faced. Amanda just wants to have the last say, and people hate that. And she doesn't realize how loud she is. She's like a know-it-all, so lots of people don't appreciate that. They don't tell her straight to her face, unlike me. I will say it like it is. And yeah, you did break so. the alliance. No, I didn't break any alliance <gasps> yet. I didn't break any alliance yet. <laughs> Sorry, but that's where you got it all wrong. I haven't broken any alliance. So you think you have to write someone's no, name no. down in order to break the alliance? Exactly. Is that right? Exactly. That's I how you function. Broken. I haven't that's why you. Yeah, that's why you have a warped sense of reality. I went to because you don't actually understand how this game works. Don't call me sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart. Whatever. If someone bought Rajesh a book, Survival for Dummies, I don't think that he would be able to implement one guideline from that book because he's basically defied every single sort of survival rule. Um, and and more importantly, this is a social relationships game. And what he's done is he's destroyed his relationship with pretty much everybody that's lived with him. I have I'm, about I'm this much desire well. to talk to you, Rajesh. Yeah, Zilch. So yeah, if I were you, you, I'd leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not too faced like you. I don't want to talk to you. With your fake little accent. I mean, like, really now. Come on. I do not want to talk to you. You can't spend a few years in the States and come with your fake little accent. I don't I want clam. That's I want the best clam. thing you could come up with. I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. You must have been yourself for once. Shh. Amanda's like, uh, she's like a coconut. You know? Brown on the outside, white on the inside. That's Am Amanda. Stop pretending to be other people. Oh, who are you talking to? There's nobody else around. Well, excuse me. Whatever. <sighs> he's a snake. No other way to describe it. And he's not that bright either. I think I'm getting her vote tonight. I'm serious. I think I'm getting her vote. It's going to be a big, fat vote. We just had a bit of a blowout. He's like, I mean, I'm not two-faced. <laughs> and I've never done anything to anybody. I'm like, whoa. What I you told saying? him, I'm like, you look like such a complete moron. You're an idiot. You're not right at all. But as far as I'm concerned, she can kiss my black ass. Come guys, just come and grab a piece. I'm freaking in heaven. And <laughs> fun. We've been dreaming about meat. We've been dreaming about, you know, talking about food every night for the last, you know, almost two weeks. And then to actually step up and have it in front of you that you can kind of, oh, just grab it and stuff it in your mouth. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was, it was world class. I think it's the best buy I've ever had. It really, really was outstanding. We're going to have a lot, a lot of food for the next eight to ten days. Everyone's going on about how this is paradise in paradise, but I think tonight it's going to be a rough night for a lot of people out there, myself included. And <laughs> I think, I think Risky's going to have her revenge, and um, I don't think it's going to be pretty at all. Hey, that's a good luck. No more, no more. I feel like giving the other trap all the KGs from this thing now. Yeah. Hope so. Take a seat. Welcome, everyone, to Tribal Council. Amanda, trust is a word that comes up a lot in Survivor. One of the ways to get far in Survivor is to take people into your confidence and betray them. How do you tell when you can trust somebody and when you can't? Um, I think part of it is just instinctive because I don't, I don't necessarily know that there's a methodology for doing that because um, there, there, there was at one stage 
um, a person that I trusted that, that was halfway on their road to betraying me. And, um, and, and obviously that's a lesson that you have to learn because, because uh, you know, first impression may have sort of shown one thing and then, you know, later on down the road you sort of see people's true colors and then they start to come out. So I do know that, that, that you have to be wary about people. That raises a very interesting dilemma within Survivor that some people struggle with and some don't. Earshot, how do you separate life and the way you live it outside of the game and inside? I don't. I find it very difficult to stab people in the back completely. This is part of the game that I hate. Uh, so how do I disassociate that? I, I, I still am struggling to get that right. I'm someone you can trust in, in that sense. Rajesh, possibly honorable, possibly naive response there from Irshad. How are you playing this? You know, if I trust somebody, I trust them. And if there's somebody I don't trust 100%, uh, I will still play you. I will play you and uh, make you think that, that I trust you. Uh, I, this is a game, you know. I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out and tell somebody straight down. Oh yeah, you know, what, I don't trust you because that's just being stupid. Uh, so it's, it's all about playing the game. Dyke, I'm a man that does not change his word. If I agree on something, I agree on something. If it doesn't suit me after two, three days, I don't reverse it. Man, I'm crossing to you with a similar question. Yep. How do you separate? how the game almost needs to be played, in a way, to the way you are outside the game. So even though I understand that deception is part of the game, I do also believe that there's a line that you can cross. Angie, the tribe is getting smaller. The people around you, you'll be spending that much more time with because it's getting smaller. What are you going to be basing your vote on tonight? You know, we've got challenges coming up and I want us to be strong and the strongest that we possibly can be. And that's how I'm voting. Alright guys, you have a tough decision in front of you tonight, but it is time to vote. Amanda, you're up. Amanda. I'll collect the votes. Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person with the most votes will need to bring me their torch and then leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll count the votes. Rajesh. Amanda. It's one vote Rajesh, one vote Amanda. Two votes for Jesh, one vote Amanda. For Jesh, that's three votes. It is enough. I do not need to read out the final vote. You can bring me your torch, please. For Jesh, the tribe has spoken. Ivan, you guys are down to four tribe members. You've got a big task ahead of you. Collect your things, head back to your island.
fastest mobile internet, Vodacom gives you the best broadband for your round. Next on Survivor South Africa, relationships on Iban are being tested. I don't really respect stuff that comes out of his mouth most of the time. No. You're so insulting, and it's so easy for you to insult people. Yeah, it's on the tip of the needle, and it's balancing ever so gently. And Hein is under attack. I'm scared of Hein. <laughs> Get to check out the Survivor website on mnet.coza. Play Fancy Survivor, get a sneak preview of next week's challenge, and find out more about Reski the Goat. Dad kind of holds the trump card right now. Amanda's sucking up to him big time in order for for him to keep her in the game because I think she's very lazy. Dyke is a bit naive, so he is actually just falling into that trap. Survivor is proudly sponsored by Vodacom, the best broadband for your rand.